Get ready to make some music, make some music, music with Mr. C. Hello boys and girls and welcome to another music lesson, which today will actually be sort of a science lesson as we seek to answer the question, what makes sound? Cue science explosion! You're supposed to do the science. <laughs> oh, well, well, that's better. Well, now I'm ready to answer the question, what makes sound? Well, the answer is pretty simple, my friends. Sound could be made from a car honking its horn or a bird up in a tree or maybe a superhero punching a bad guy or Miles farting. Lots of things make sound. But the real question we want to answer is, how is that sound created? Well, science tells us that all sounds, no matter where they come from, are all created from vibrations. Vibration is when something moves or shakes very quickly back and forth, like this. And you've probably experienced vibration before in your daily life, like a phone that's turned on silent mode, or the feeling in the seat of your car when you turn it on. And boys and girls, some vibrations are moving so quickly that you can't even really see them. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Watch what happens to this drum when I hit it with a stick. Kind of looks like nothing, right boys and girls? But the truth is, if I showed you someone hitting a drum in super slow motion, you would see that the entire drum skin is actually moving back and forth a lot. It's just happening so fast that we can't really see it in normal speed. But there is sort of a way to see those vibrations happen in normal speed, my friends. Here, check this out. If I take something super small and light, like this paper clip here, and put it on top of my drum when I hit it, you will see that the vibrations from the drum skin actually cause the paper clip to move around and sort of jump. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Check it out. Pretty cool, right? That's the same reason why you can usually feel vibrations even if they're too fast to see like when someone starts the car or your phone is buzzing in your pocket. In fact, even if I just put my fingertips on this drum while I play it, I could feel those vibrations. And you, my friends, can even feel the vibrations from your own voice. All you have to do is put your fingertips on your throat while you make some noises with your voice. Go ahead, try it. Isn't that pretty cool? Do you feel the vibrations? <laughs> Pretty cool, but we still haven't answered the question, how do vibrations create sounds? Well, to understand that, you need to know that in the air all around us, there are tiny little molecules that we can't see. What do we call these molecules in the air? Well, we call them air molecules. It's brilliant, 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 I tell you. Genius, I say. Imagine now that I'm playing an instrument like a cymbal. When I hit the cymbal, it begins to vibrate. And as that cymbal is vibrating, it starts to bump into the air molecules around it, which causes them to vibrate too. Then those vibrating air molecules bump into more air molecules, which begin to vibrate. And those bump into more molecules and into more molecules and so on and so forth. When vibrations travel through air particles this way, we call that a sound wave. If the sound wave reaches your ear, it can go all the way inside to a tiny little organ called an eardrum. And when those molecules get your eardrum vibrating, your brain hears that as a sound. And there you have it, boys and girls. That's how all sound is created through vibration, even sounds from instruments. Some instruments you can see the vibration, like when I bow a string on my double bass, or if you play a big bell or a gong. Other times it can be harder to see the vibration, like if I use air from my mouth to vibrate the reed of a saxophone or the mouthpiece of a trumpet. But no matter what instrument it is, the sound always comes from vibration. Sometimes a sound can create so much vibration that it even causes other objects to move and vibrate. You might have felt this before if you were in a movie theater or somewhere where the music was so loud that you could feel your seat shaking. Have you ever seen a cartoon where someone makes a loud sound and it actually causes glass to break? 
Well, that's because the vibration from the sound was so powerful, it made that fragile glass vibrate and move so much that it shattered and came apart. But did you know that that actually works in real life? <laughs> It's true, boys and girls. Some people can create so much vibration with their voices that they can cause glass to break. Yes! Oh man, isn't that so cool? I kind of want to try it. That's it, science experiment. Let's go somewhere safe and see if Mr. C can break a glass with his voice. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go. Do not try this at home. I am a professional. <sighs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <clears throat> Wasn't that so cool, Mrs. C? Whatever, Mr. C. Just clean up when you're done. <sighs> yeah, sure. Oh. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> well, there you have it, boys and girls. Now you know how all sound is created through vibration. I hope you enjoyed this music lesson, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!